Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to be on a grill barbecue for our meal prep crew. Let's get it. Alright, Towners. Uh, we have our grill going in this video. We're going to be outside cooking on the grill. Uh, we're going to be barbecuing for this meal prep uh, video here. Um, you can see it's kind of rainy out, kind of wet, and we're going to be fighting the elements in this video. Uh, but we have our charcoal in our chimney starter. It's all ready to go. So we went ahead and poured the charcoal into um, our grill and went ahead and cleaned off the top grates after they uh, came up the temp from sitting over top of the coals. Try to clean up the grills before and after each cook. And um, I know my bottom grill grate started to get a little rusted out. I didn't take care of that. I keep saying that, but I don't worry about it until I start cooking. Uh, we're going to start by adding in our chicken thighs onto uh, the grill. Uh, we took the chicken thighs and took the skin and covered over the top half of the meat and basically just folded them over to help them keep their shape while cooking. Uh, season them up with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, uh, lemon pepper seasoning, Italian seasoning, and some vinegar. And uh, place them all on the grill. Um, if you don't like the skin, that's fine. Just leave it on while you're cooking. The fat doesn't transfer over to the meat. Um, and it's very easy to pull the skin off after the chicken is done cooking. Just helps to keep it protected while it's cooking and it doesn't burn. Um, we have a total of about 32 chicken thighs here. And um, these are all going to be used for our meal prep. I went ahead and closed the grill and started to let those cook. We let them cook for about 10 minutes. And then we went ahead and uh, flipped them over. Uh, when we flip them over, we're basically checking for color to see if there's any hot spots uh, or any spots cooking too fast and help us know where they are on the grill. Uh, when you flip them over, you can tell by two ways. One, you can tell by where the fire you can see is flaming up. That's basically from the juice dripping down onto the meat. But also you can tell if there's any color in any of the spots are darker than the other sides of the meat. You can tell that's where the hot spots are. Uh, but we went ahead and flipped the chicken over and let it cook for another 10 minutes or so on the second half. We're just basically wanting to get some color. You see the juice dripping down on the top left corner of the screen. That's basically what we'll call some of the flare ups. But um, went ahead and flipped the chicken over and put it at the top rack. We just basically want some color on the chicken and then we're just gonna let it smoke and continue cooking on the top half of the grill. Um, after we uh, removed all of the chicken and we went ahead and placed down some ground beef. Uh, there's some hamburger patties that we formed and place those on top of the grill. We have about 12 patties here. Um, season those up with some salt, uh, salt, pepper, and some of our Cooking with the Town 2 all-purpose seasoning. And uh, then we also have a, a small little a brisket cap um, that we got from the farmer's market. Uh, we went ahead and just seasoned that with some of our Cooking with the Town 2 um, barbecue rub and just place that on the grill also. Um, after we uh, had the rest of our meat on the grill. Uh, we went ahead and just closed the grill up and let those cook. Um, the grill's fire is starting to die down a bit. Most of the flame that was coming through was coming from the grease from the chicken thighs hitting it. So uh, we were able to kind of do these kind of nice, nice and slow. Uh, flipped the burgers over, added our brisket on there. Also flipped that. Cleaned off the grill from any residue from the chicken thighs and the hamburger patties and placed um, our zucchini and squash on the grill. Put them in some uh, uh, barbecue little containers with holes in them so that way they can cook and not have any uh, of them fall through. Um, for the cauliflower mac and cheese, um, we hit that with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of paprika, uh, some um, sour cream, cream cheese, almond milk, cheddar and mozzarella. If I missed anything, I'll add, make sure I have the description of those in the description section below of the video. Um, went ahead and poured that into our container and flattened everything out, topped it off with some additional cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese, and put that in the oven at 350 for about, uh, for about 30 to 45 minutes. And for, um, here's the final product of uh, everything that we cooked. Um, the rain actually got to us. Um, I wasn't able to come back and get pictures or videos of removing the food off of the grill after it was done. 
uh, the rain hit us and wasn't able to, <laughs> to get any of that. I actually left my phone outside, so I had to go run out and get it. But I just went ahead and just took all the food off as well. Um, I'm so for for, for the uh, Sugini and squash. We, we we season that with some olive oil, um, salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Um, we went ahead and uh, made our meal prep containers. Uh, we had about 20 meals that we made all together and uh, we put uh, two chicken thighs into each container. Um, we see we have some of our zucchini and squash as well as macaroni, cauliflower macaroni and cheese in some of them. We also made a cucumber salad that we placed in some of our uh, containers as well. And um, we yeah, everything on here uh, came out really nice. Um, nice, quick, simple. Um, dish i'm just time from from being outside barbecuing in the rain <laughs> that was the only downfall of that but um we have these uh proportioned out for for the meals uh some people are using these for um sort of for lunch as well as dinner so some people are doubling up on the orders but some people are just do it using it for dinner uh but however you like to to eat these for you can use these as some ideas to use for your meal preps um we went ahead and uh have some additional pictures of our brisket that we sliced up and um with the brisket as well as the hamburgers we we just kept those at the house we um the people who ordered only wanted chicken they didn't want any beef so we just we cooked that as well and just had that for ourselves to eat for the house uh, but if anyone has any comments or questions please feel free to hit us up in the comment section below um and uh, we'll be able to answer any questions for you or help you out with any questions and um Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.